Hello everyone. How are you all doing today? It's me, your girl, Miss Turner, back with a, another video for you guys. Today we are going to start the one and only Ivan. I have never read this book, but I've heard it's absolutely amazing and I wanted to read it to you guys via video format. Okay, so let's read the back of this book. Ivan is an easy-going gorilla. Living in a shopping mall, he has grown accustomed to humans watching him through the glass walls of his domain. That's not chill. Poor gorilla. In a shopping mall? Those things are tiny. Uh, anyway, back to the book. He rarely misses his life in the jungle. In fact, he hardly ever thinks about it at all. Instead, Ivan thinks about TV shows he's seen, his friends, Stella and Bob, and painting. Then he meets Ruby, a baby elephant taken from her family, and she makes Ivan see their home in his own art through new eyes. When Ruby arrives, change comes with her, and it's up to Ivan to make it a change for the better. Okay, so that's what it's about. It's about a gorilla. Uh, we'll see who Stella and Bob are. And painting. Okay. And Ruby, a baby elephant. Okay. So by reading the back, I'm able to get some hints from the text about what the story is going to be about. All right, <clears throat> let's start our book. And I'm going to be reading this. I'll be asking some questions from you guys. Uh, and you can always respond in the YouTube comments or you can respond in Google Classroom. Okay, imagination. It's a little trailer here. This isn't actually part of the book. It just gives us like a little bit of an excerpt, a trailer about what we're going to read. Someday I hope I can draw the way Julia draws, imagining worlds that don't yet exist. I know what most humans think. They think gorillas don't have imaginations. They think we don't remember our pasts or ponder our futures. Come to think of it, I suppose they have a point. Mostly I think about what is not what could be. I've learned not to get my hopes up. That's a little sad. Right, let's get into it. Oh, this book has a glossary. Now, who knows what a glossary is? Write the definition of a glossary in the comment section, please. Hello, I am Ivan. I am a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. There's Ivan. People call me the freeway gorilla, the ape at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you also probably think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me, which way is more fun? I've learned to understand human words over the years. But understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like chimps, crowding the world with their noise, even when they have nothing to say. It took me some time to recognize all those human sounds, to weave words into things, but I was patient. Patient is, is a useful way to be when you're an ape. Gorillas are as patient as stones. Humans, not so much. I used to be a wild gorilla, and I still look the part. I have a gorilla's shy gaze, a gorilla's sly smile. I wear a snowy saddle of fur, the uniform of a silverback. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla's majestic shadow in my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind when all I'm thinking about is how the late day sun reminds me of a ripe nectarine. 
I'm mightier than any human. 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks made for battle. My arms, outstretched, span taller than the tallest human. My family tree spreads wide as well. I am a great ape, and you are a great ape, and so are chimpanzees and orangutans and bonobos, all of us distant and distrustful cousins. I know this is troubling. I too find it hard to believe there is a connection across time and space linking me to a race of ill-mannered clowns. Chimps, there's no excuse for them. I live in a human exhibit called the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. We are conveniently, conveniently located off I-95 with shows at 2, 4, and 7, 365 days a year. Mac says that when he answers the trilling telephone. Mac works here at the mall. He is the boss. I work here too. I am the gorilla. At the Big Top Mall, a creaky music carousel spins all day and monkeys and parrots live amid the merchants. In the middle of the mall is a ring with benches where humans can sit on their rumps while they eat soft pretzels. <clears throat> the floor is covered with sawdust made of dead trees. My domain is at one end of the ring. I live here because I am too much gorilla and not enough human. Stella's domain is next to mine. Stella is an elephant. She and Bob, who is a dog, are my dearest friends. At present, I do not have any gorilla friends. My domain is made of thick glass and rusty metal and rough cement. Stella's domain is made of metal bars. The sun bear's domain is wood. The parrot's is wire mesh. Three of my walls are glass. One of them is cracked and a small piece about the size of my hand is missing from its bottom corner. I made the hole with the baseball bat Mac gave me for my sixth birthday. After that, he took the bat away, but he let me keep the baseball that came with it. A jungle scene is painted on one of my domain walls. It has a waterfall without water and flowers, without scent and trees without roots. I didn't paint it, but I enjoy the way the shapes flow across my wall, even if it isn't much of a jungle. I am lucky my domain has three windowed walls. I can see the whole mall and a bit of the world beyond. The frantic pinball machines, the pink billows of cotton candy, the vast and treeless parking lot. Beyond the lot is a freeway where cars stampede without end. A giant sign at its end beckon, beckons, ugh, beckons them to stop and rest like gazelles at a watering hole. The sign is faded. The color's bleeding, but I know what it says. Mac reads its words aloud one day, every day. Come to the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, home of the one and only Ivan, Mighty Silverback. Sadly, I cannot read, although I wish I could. Reading stories would make a fine way to fill up my empty hours. Once, however, I was able to enjoy a book left in my domain by one of my keepers. It tasted like termite. The freeway billboard has a, si has a drawing of Mac in his clown clothes and Stella on her hind legs and an an angry animal with fierce eyes and unkept hair. That animal is supposed to be me, but the artist made a mistake. I am never angry. Here's a picture of that. Anger is precious. A silverback uses anger to maintain order and warn his troop of danger. When my father beat his chest, it was to say, beware, listen, I am in charge. I am angry to protect you because that is what I was born to do. Here in my domain, however, there is no one to protect. Okay, so we're gonna stop it there. Um, and I am going to post some questions for you. One, 
Um, what do you think Ivan means by human waste words? He says, humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. What does you think that means? What does that mean to you? And then another question I want you to answer is, how do you think Ivan feels trapped in the mall, right, where he is living? Okay, I will write those in the comments for you to answer, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. I love you, I miss you, and we'll be together soon. Bye!